If you're anything like me and you have a deep appreciation for high-end homes and luxury living, you're gonna enjoy this video as we talk about some of the most expensive places to live in St. Louis, Missouri. Hey everybody, it's Jacob Pyshop. Welcome back to the Living St. Louis channel. Today we are talking all about luxury living in St. Louis. We are gonna talk about St. Louis's top five most expensive places to live. So let's get into it. If you ever need anything from me or have questions or concerns about St. Louis or anything in real estate at all, always feel free to just give me a call. There is my number, that is my cell phone. Give me a call, shoot me a text, whatever works for you. And I'm always more than happy to talk to my viewers. So let's get into the video. Starting off at number one, we have Huntley, Missouri. Huntley is a very wealthy, very small city, although it's kind of more like a neighborhood, located in between Ladue, Frontenac, and Kirkwood. Technically, it is its own municipality, but it shares a police department with Frontenac, and it shares a school district either with Ladue or Kirkwood. So if you live in Huntley, your school system is gonna be either Ladue schools or Kirkwood schools, depending on where in Huntley you live. The median sold price in Huntley as of late is just over $1.3 million. Huntley's pretty small, like I said. There's only around 380 people that live there, so it's pretty small, but these are some of the wealthiest people in all of St. Louis that get to call Huntley home. Now, the area itself, geographically, isn't tiny. There's only a handful of people that live there, though, because all of the houses and properties in Huntley sit on pretty decent chunks of land for being right in the middle of St. Louis. Obviously, we're not out in the country, we're not out in the boonies where you can just buy 100 acres of land, but compared to the areas around Huntley, like Frontenac, Warson Woods, or Kirkwood, all of these houses in Huntley sit on four, five, six, or more acres of land, which in the middle of St. Louis is a lot of land. This is for a visual representation of what I'm talking about. So here I have Huntley pulled up on the map. This is the MLS, which is kind of my souped up version of Zillow.com. So this shows the, the green lines are municipalities. So here we have Huntley right here, Frontenac on this side, Ladue over here on the east, Warson Woods down here, and then Kirkwood right below Huntley. Now, if we zoom in, this will show you the lot lines. So for reference, over here we have Warson Woods and then Kirkwood down here. These lots are gonna be between a quarter acre to a half acre. So quarter acre, a third of an acre, half acre. These are generally how big the lots are gonna be over here and over here. And then over here on the left, we have Frontenac. Frontenac is more expensive, um, higher end neighborhood. You're gonna have bigger lot sizes. These are gonna be around one acre to 1.5 acres over in Frontenac. And then you see the difference when you look at Huntley. So down here, I mean, you have these smaller lots, like down here, um, what is this, three acres, down there, all the way up to this big trunk right here in the middle, 60 acres sold in 2018 for $9.8 million. Up here by Radnor Road in Huntley Woods, uh, same thing, three acres. Huntley Woods is gonna be upwards of 2.5 to 3.5 acres. But again, you see the difference in what I'm talking about even over here, you know, same thing. They're gonna be around an acre over in Front Neck, and then you come over to Huntley, two, three plus acres when you buy a home in Huntley. And then as you can see on the map, uh, we have four homes currently for sale in Huntley. They are the green ones, 2.25 million, just under 5 million, and then 6 million here, and 5.2 million there. These three are what's currently under contract, pending in Huntley, there's three of them. 2.8 million, 1.45, and 1.7 million. So again, just a visual to show you, this is what the lot sizes look like when you buy in Huntley. When you buy in Huntley, you're not just buying a house, you're buying, you're buying an estate. You're getting some decent property. I'm talking impeccable landscaping, beautiful sunset views, private backyard, everything custom about your house you can imagine. Just everything in Huntley is the definition of luxury living. Like I said, Huntley isn't huge, but it's more than just one street. I mean, it's got several neighborhoods and these are some of the most prestigious places to live in all of St. Louis. Um, some of them are Huntley Woods, Radnor Road, Squires Lane, or Deacon Drive. I mean, I'll roll the clips for you guys, but these are all immaculate, just impeccable places to live right in the middle of Huntley. The houses here all sit on multiple, multiple acres of land. We're talking custom estates. Sometimes you'll get a couple sales of, you know, the older homes, um, the ranch, the teardowns that happen to sit on a couple acres of land in Huntley. But I mean, just the land itself is gonna cost you upwards of one to $1.5 million, just depending on how much land you buy. I mean, when people buy these ugly teardowns in Huntley, those are million dollar homes being torn down to build these massive, beautiful estates. I mean, you're not buying the house, you're buying the location, you're buying the land, some of the most prime real estate in all of St. Louis. And that's why it's gonna cost you at least seven figures to buy in Huntley. 
The median sold price, like I said, is just over $1.3 million lately, but this number is always fluctuating in Huntley, always going up and down just because it's such a small area. So whenever you get one sale, that's gonna drastically impact the median sold price. I mean, every time there's a huge house sold in Huntley, every time something closes, the average price just basically shoots up to whatever that sold price was because houses don't sell in Huntley very often. To give you an idea of this, in the last year, six houses sold in Huntley and 15 were listed. And this is because Huntley is in one of those areas where it's always a buyer's market, regardless of what the rest of real estate is doing. It's always a buyer's market simply because there are so few buyers that exist for that kind of home. It's really not uncommon to see things expire a couple times um, and then finally sell once they're relisted in Huntley. It might take a couple years to sell your home in Huntley just because it's probably gonna be huge, it's probably gonna be expensive, and there are very few buyers that exist in St. Louis for a home of that size. Currently, there are four homes on the market for sale in Huntley and the average of those being $4.6 million. I mean, everything in Hunley is just very large, very custom, and very expensive to buy. So there are naturally very few buyers who are capable of purchasing in Huntley. Again, everything about Hunley is just incredible, very beautiful, the definition of luxury living in St. Louis. Next up, we have Westwood. Westwood is a small village in between Frontenac and Creve Coeur. It's basically just down the street from Huntley, and it's actually even smaller than Huntley. There's only around 280 people that live in Westwood. It's all centered around Westwood Country Club, which is where it gets its name from. And it's a pretty small area on the map. It's only 0.61 square miles in size to give you an idea. So it's pretty tiny and it's basically just a country club community. So Westwood is pretty small, even smaller than Huntley, but it has some very high end and expensive real estate to own. Since it's so small, Westwood does not have its own public school system. If you live in Westwood, your public school is gonna be either Parkway Central or Ledoux, depending on which side of Westwood you live on. So one of those two options. If you enjoy the country club lifestyle and you want a luxury home in a prime St. Louis location, then Westwood is probably an area that you wanna consider. It's several of these private communities with a bunch of homes backing up to the actual golf course itself. So it's a little bit different of a lifestyle than Huntley just because the country club's right in the middle of everything. But again, a very high end, very desirable place to be when it comes to living St. Louis. Next up, we have Ladue in number three. Ladue is one of my favorites. It is a very wealthy suburb in Mid-County located right next to Westwood and Huntley. All of these areas we're talking about today are basically all right next to each other. They're all in the same pocket of St. Louis. It's all in that Mid-County kind of bordering West County area, pretty much in the middle of St. Louis County. Ladue's right next to downtown Clayton, which is a very nice, very urban area. Tons of stuff to do down in Clayton. Ladue has very high-end shopping, eating, entertainment. If you enjoy golf, they've got several golf clubs and racket clubs to choose from when it comes to living in Ladue. Ladue is kind of like the LA of St. Louis. Very posh, very classy. It's where all of St. Louis's elite come to live. Doctors, lawyers, business owners, entrepreneurs, and all your star athletes from the Cardinals and the Blues all live in Ladue. It's just very high-end living in every way and home to some of St. Louis's most expensive real estate. There's about 8,600 people that live in Ladue and it's got one of the highest median incomes in Missouri. So there's a lot of wealth in Ladue. Everybody here drives nice cars. I'm not personally super into the exotic sports cars. I think they're cool, but I definitely always have an appreciation for high-end cars. Bentleys, Porsches, Mercedes, you name it. Ladue does have its own school district. Horton Watkins is gonna be your senior high. Very desirable, very sought after school district to be in. And it services basically all of Ladue, as well as some surrounding areas like Huntley, Westwood, Frontenac, and some parts of Creve Coeur and Olivet. Ladue has also got two elite private schools, which are MICDS and John Burroughs. If you're not from St. Louis, you might have heard about this. People will ask you about high school. Everybody in St. Louis will ask you where you went to high school when you meet them. I'm not really sure why we do it. It's kind of this small town thing we do here in St. Louis, but you will eventually learn about schools like MICDS and John Burroughs and all the other private prep schools if you come to St. Louis. MICDS is where I graduated high school and the private school scene is just kind of a big deal in Ladue and the surrounding areas. There's a bunch of elite private schools all within the same area, even though they have a stellar and phenomenal public school system. Next up, we're talking about Frontenac. Frontenac is another prime location right next to Ladue. There are 3,500 people that live in Frontenac and they have a median sold price of $855,000. The center of Frontenac is called Plaza Frontenac. It's this big shopping area. Plaza Frontenac is a shopping mall. It's not huge, but you've got all your very high-end stores like Tiffany's, Saks Fifth Ave, and Louis Vuitton all located in Plaza Frontenac. 
You've got a movie theater in the mall and some great dining offered around the mall too. You've got Brick Tops, Brio's, and Fleming Steakhouse, which are three phenomenal restaurants to eat at. Very nice dining in the middle of Frontenac. I've been to all three, great atmosphere. They're all great places to eat if you're in St. Louis. They've also got a brand new Lifetime Fitness right next to Plaza Frontenac. Uh, they just built it at the end of 2019. The lowest membership you can get there is 160 a month, unless you're a student or they have a couple discount options for 140 a month but it's a huge, massive place. It's beautiful, all brand new. And this is basically where all the people in Ladue, Frontenac, and Clayton come to work out now. If you live in Frontenac, your public school system is probably going to be Ladue or Kirkwood, depending on where you are. Most of Frontenac is Ladue, but there are some places in South Frontenac that are Kirkwood School District. Frontenac also has three private schools, Chaminade, which is a Catholic boys' school, Villa de Chen, and St. Joseph Academy. Both of those are all girls' schools. So here's Plaza Frontenac on the map right here. We got Plaza Frontenac, a bunch of stuff around it. And if we zoom out, um, this is Huntley down here, Frontenac over in this area, Ladue on this side of Lindbergh, and then Westwood is up here, and then it turns into Creve Core um, up here. So this is Plaza Frontenac, if we zoom in, you can actually see Lifetime Fitness isn't done being built in this Google Maps image. It's done now, but you can still see from the construction uh, like two years ago. So Lifetime is right there, St. Joseph's Academy right here, all girls school. And then right here you see Plaza Frontenac. So if we zoom in, this whole middle strip is the, the mall, and then there's some stuff around it. Fleming's is right here, this little place. This is like a pottery barn over here. Uh, Brio's right here, Breadco right here, Panera if you're not from here, Brick Tops right here, and then over here is the county library, public library, and then some shops over here. There's a Starbucks and some other places to shop and eat. There's Froyo right here too. Schnooks right across the street right here, and then this big thing over here, it's kind of an L shape. This is the Hilton in Frontenac. Um, and then these other buildings, there's a bank, um, some more shopping over here, um, shops and entertainment over here. Over here is kind of the city hall of Frontenac right here if you zoom in. And then yeah, just other shopping around here, kind of all centered around Plaza Frontenac. And then the rest of Frontenac is pretty residential. So zoom out, this is kind of to give you a aerial view of Frontenac. Got Westwood over here, Westwood Country Club. And all of this kind of in between is Frontenac, this big area right here. Again, Frontenac is a great place to be. I'm always there, either driving through, doing something at Plaza Frontenac, or just grabbing some coffee at Starbucks right across the street. And then finally, we have Town & Country. Town & Country is the last area. It's the furthest west. It is west of Frontenac and Westwood, and it's the biggest in size and population. Town & Country is almost 12 square miles in area, and there's 11,000 people that live there. Town & Country actually started off as a smaller village with the lot sizes being way bigger than they are now that sort of offered this nice country living right in the middle of St. Louis. And in some places, you can still see that original country charm that gave Town & Country its name. I'm talking white fences, beautiful horse pastures, stunning landscaping, and just these gorgeous homes where at one point, all of Town & Country used to look like that. Nowadays, it is a lot more developed than it originally was, with a lot of these big pieces of land split up into smaller lots for custom home sites or beautiful estates being built now. But in some places, you still see that original country look that offered country living in the middle of St. Louis without actually being far outside the city in that urban lifestyle. You still have a lot of really nice country living in town and country without actually being far outside the city in the middle of nowhere. You still got shopping, eating, entertainment, and a bunch of urban areas to go to all around town and country. One thing I love about town and country is that it's such an outdoorsy community. You've got tons of sidewalks and trails everywhere. You have Queenie Park in town and country as well, which is a huge park with ponds, lakes, hiking trails. Um, they've got horse pastures and they host equestrian events like competitions in Queen Park too, which is really awesome. Even with the newer subdivisions and luxury homes being built, Town & Country still has a lot of green space between parks, walking trails, and trees just everywhere you go. You've also got Longview Farm, which is a park smaller than Queenie Park, but you've still got walking trails through the woods, horse pastures, and the whole thing is right next to the town center. 
It's super walkable and my grandparents have an older home on Clayton Road, which is one of the main roads going through town and country. And whenever my brother and I would go there as kids to visit, we'd always take a walk down to town center, get Starbucks and order some frappuccinos and then walk back to grandma and grandpa's, just loaded on sugar. I mean, it was great back then. And it's really cool. They just added on to the town center with this town square. They added some shops, this little pavilion for get togethers and this really cool outdoor area with a pond and walking trails all around it. Basically just the perfect image of everything you're gonna see in town and country. So that is town and country. Again, a very nice, very luxurious, luxurious high-end place to live in the suburbs of St. Louis. So that is going to wrap up this video. I hope you enjoyed learning about some of St. Louis's luxury areas. If there's anything I can do for you, any questions you have, always feel free to give me a call or shoot me a text. That is my cell phone number and I'm always happy to have conversations with my viewers. As always, don't forget to give the video a big thumbs up down below and subscribe to my channel so you see more content like this in the future. And until the next video, I will catch you later.